Previously on SPI Direct. Scab Punk International. Record label. I don't know, I feel weird. <laughs> I'm stuck. Holy shit. Whoa, wait, hold on. <laughs> you orange bastard. Hi, I'm Princess Precure. Burning to love yourself is the greatest love of all. Okay, why am I doing this? Why am I doing the Whitney? Bye! Wait, let, let me give you a tonic for fun. Hello and welcome to the Fall 2022 Scott Punk International Direct. I'm Chris and I'll be your host on this crazy journey this morning or afternoon, depending on whatever time you're watching this. I had a really fun time doing that quick previously on recap thing. So I thought let's do a quick recap of what has happened so far this year with Scott Punk International Records before we look at what's happening for the rest of the year and in 2023. Some of the stuff at least. So uh, let's see, we started the year with some singles. We had the k Moy Beth Has Secrets and uh, the Tape Girl uh, My Boy Twin Fantasy. Those were awesome. And then the Young Costello Party All The Time single that was also on digital. We got that one right here. You can still grab that one on the site too. And then, um, here, let me just grab my stack. So then after that, we had the Holy Schnikes cover album with uh, the How Bizarre video. Cue that. And then after that, the Flying Raccoon Suit Afterglow on cassette, which is really cool. We still have some of those on the site. Then after that was when we had the first SPI Direct that we just did the little recap of. And then the Hans Gruber and the Die Hards record came out. <laughs> which has been amazing. That has gone everywhere. We had the red tape. And then we had the blue tape because we sold out of the red one. We had the CD. And it just kept selling. And now it's on vinyl which is insane. This is actually the second pressing, but um, the first one, there might be like one copy left or so, but the second one, we still have some left. I can gra go grab that one. I'm super proud of how this turned out. Super proud of everything that the groups have accomplished this year, and they're actually on the road right now, but we'll look at that a little later. And then after that, the Common Sense Kids single, Blind Black Black Hole, came out, which is an indication of what's going to be on the record comes out later this year. We'll also we'll talk about that later in the direct. And then after that, the Young Costello album slash EP came out. That's done really, really well. Disaster, sleep with one eye up there. That hit tape and CD and vinyl. All of those will be here about a week, week and a half, maybe two weeks. Really, really soon, those will all be shipping. So I can't really show you this second, but really, really soon. And then just a week ago, literally a week ago from today, the Lumpy album came out and I love this album. And it's onto a great start for the first week. Like really, really stoked on how that's coming out. If you haven't checked it out yet, definitely go check that out. You can grab it on tape. That'll be here maybe three weeks or so. Um, but the digital is out. Go check that out. It's an incredible album. Really, really like it. Had a great reception so far. So don't sleep on the Lumpy album. And between the Young Costello and the Lumpy album, we had one record that I might have thought I skipped over, but no, it didn't. The Bumsy and the Moochers Die of Violence. So it's on CD and cassette. And actually, it was recently, just a few days ago, announced on Twitter, and you might have missed it. That's going to be on vinyl next month. Yeah, and to celebrate the vinyl release, they're doing a release show in Chicago. 
So if you're in the Chicago area or you feel like traveling to the Chicago area, don't miss that. The vinyl is a collaboration with Sell the Heart, SPI, and Jump Up Records. And that'll be here Thanksgiving, Black Friday, that type of window. That's what we're looking at. And uh, we're not really doing pre-sale very much for that. Maybe a little before that, but pretty much it's just going to be here and we're going to start shipping it. That's how uh, confident we were in the record. And so it's almost here. So incredible year so far. I'm so proud of what everyone has done. But you know what? Let's look at what is coming. So there are a bunch of stuff that we talked about in the last direct. And some of that stuff hasn't come out yet. We're not going to touch on all of those things, but I do want to show some tracks from some of those and some new stuff. Maybe, maybe we'll announce a couple new things. I don't know. Let's see. Last time we announced that Common Sense Kid is joining the SPI family and that album's not quite ready yet. We'll be looking at early next year, fingers crossed, but Common Sense Kid was nice enough, or maybe I made him show you what he's been working on a little bit more in depth. So take a look at this. Oh, again. Hi, Chris, how are you? Where's the album? Look, there's eight songs. People are probably gonna be, I know you're doing SPI Directs, that's why you're phoning me. No, we can't put a day on it. I want to do two more songs. Why? Because let's be honest, you're the only idiot that would put out my record. What do you mean you like all the songs so far? Okay, then. Well, let's do the weird one. No, I'm going to do the whole song. We'll premiere the whole song and then not stick it on streaming. Because that sounds like a real fun idea. Just to annoy people. Yeah, but see, then they have to keep watching your video if they want to listen to it again. Yeah, I'm a marketing genius, I know. I'm also lazy and can't be bothered to finish it properly. Because I'm tired, Chris. I'm tired and I'm miserable. The country has gone to shit. There's a lot going on over here at the moment. I don't know if you noticed, but life's a little bit busy. I said I'd do it live-ish. I'd do it live-ish. Ah! <laughs>
Since we were just talking about the Bumsy and the Moochers final release show, there's a bunch of other shows coming up over the next month or so from other SPI family members. So let's talk about those real quick. Hans Gruber and the Die Hards are on the road right now. They're on a West Coast run. And then I'm also going to show you some flyers from shows that are over in the Pacific Northwest, here in Texas, over in San Francisco, and uh, other places that I... Oh, Philly. Philly. Take Today's Playing with Catbite. So here. Take a look at all those flyers. Cool. So all of you are going to make it to one of those shows if you're in the U.S. If you're not, you have an out. But if you're in the U.S., you're totally going to make it to one of those shows, right? It's hard out here to be a band, especially a band on the road like Hans Gruber and the Diehards. But all those other shows, it's hard out there. So make sure you go check those out if you're in any of those areas. Mask up if you're not feeling comfortable. And be as safe as possible so these bands can keep playing shows. Okay, it's time to talk about some new stuff. Cool. So since the last Direct, we announced on all the internet social platform places that Satsnack is joining the SPI family, and we're very, very excited. We're collaborating with Lava Sauce Records to put out two original songs from Satsnack on Kasingle and on digital. And so you're probably like, okay, I heard the No Children cover that they did, and it was awesome, but when can I hear this original stuff? Well... Take a look at this, and you'll find out. Sad snack! Sad snack? Sad snack! Sad snack! Sad snack! Sad snack! People are all asking about sad snack. Let's go. Oh, hey, Josh. What you thinking about? Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. It's me, Josh PM, from Sad Snack from San Francisco, California. We're about to put out two singles with Lava Socks and Ska Punk International. The first one is called Sunshine and Lollipops 2020. And check out the other single, Kenny G Hotline. I'm Chris from Skybuck International Records, and I also paid for this. Yeah, so watch for those Sad Sack singles in November. They're both dropping then, and we'll start taking pre-orders and everything for the tapes then, and they'll be out by the end of the year. So watch for that very, very soon. I'm so stoked about it. But speaking of Sad Snack, one of the members of Sad Snack, Elon, their drummer, has been working on a really, really cool rock opera. It goes by the name of Indica and Decay. And when Elon showed it to me, I was like, whoa, it's not ska, but fuck it. Let's put it out, huh? So check this out. Elon is going to tell you all about the story of Indica and Decay 
and what's to come from that. And eventually, the whole thing, all five acts of the story, are going to be on cassette with SPI. So check this out. Indica Indica is an ongoing rock opera. The star of our story, Indica, is watching her life slip away from her as she chases down every single Craigslist band. Is that possibility to drum in the next great fucking, I don't know, whatever. She hasn't really thought that far ahead. She's not good at that. But the thing is, she's going to become the unlikely champion of the songwriting guitar Excalibur. Once the sword Excalibur, now a guitar which writes the songs for its holders so good that it will conquer the fucking world of music. Unfortunately, it will bring about a whole bunch of horrific challenges for Indica. Act 1, Scene 1 finds Indica chewing out her anarchist slumlord at one of the infinite band houses she's lived in for far too fucking long. Fifteen years of my butter And a dream that's corroded along the way Sure, I'll join your band to get cheap rent Band broke up, I beg you stay Slumlord social theorist Wake your tenants to leftover crack Slumlord fake and I kissed It's just aesthetics for your money grab In scene two, Indica joins the up-and-coming Holy Grail, led by her romantic interest, Arthur. Arthur has the secret to writing perfect songs, but his destructive sad boy behavior makes Indica leave him and the band despite their meteoric success. Scene 3 finds Indica consistently waking up on the floor of a practice space, only able to remember small snippets of fighting with new different bands because she's miserable over losing what she saw as her big chance with the Holy Grail. She's uncertain she'll ever find another opportunity that clear, and she's coming to terms with the fact that she let Arthur into her heart even if he was just a miserable person to her. But more on that in December. And hey, we got two more scenes in Act 1 coming out in 2023. We'll put it all onto a cassette. And then you know something? We got Act 2 coming out after that. So we'll see you soon. Scott Punk International. Another band that we announced last time, Simple Minded Symphony. I recently got to spend some time and hang out with them, see them live. And they are everything that they are hyped to be and more. So, 
I wanted to show you a little bit of an upcoming song of theirs. This song is much longer than this clip, about a six minute song. So this is a couple minutes of the song that they played recently at a house show. And um, it's just, it's awesome. You gotta check this out. right if you want to hear the rest of that bass solo the rest of the track you're gonna have to wait till the album sorry i can't help you with that right now but i promise it's gonna be worth the wait because that simple minded symphony album is going to be so sick <sighs> i feel like i'm just saying that a bunch of times in this direct but i'm just so excited about the stuff that's coming oh god and that includes that simple minded symphony record i mean you heard it <sighs> so they're from the Pacific Northwest, and there's another band in the SBA family from the Pacific Northwest that I just got to hang out with and spend some time with, and that's Los Ocupados. They've got the one song out that is a cover, Espionage, but this is a little taste of what their original stuff sounds like. They're more of a kind of like two-tone sound than the other stuff on the roster, and I'm really excited for what they're working on. So check this out and get a little bit of a taste of what Los Ocupados are working on for next year. right super high energy i know that was short but i don't want to give away too much like oh it's just i don't want to give away too much stuff already had the lung really look let's face it craig played a whole freaking song and took up so much time in this direct so take it up with craig i don't know craig does what he wants so listen i can only do so much los occupados but you're gonna love it i promise you're gonna love it again a little bit different from what's on the rest of the roster and that's so cool to me like high energy two-tone like yeah hell yeah but listen i got one more new artist to show you that we're going to be releasing in 2023 and as a matter of fact they have a video that you're going to be able to see right after this yeah literally right after this direct that's premiering so do you want to find out who it is Check this out. Hello, we are Plastic Presidents. And I'm Chance. And we are excited to be joining 
Ska Punk International. We, we are an 8 Ska Punk band. Hi, I'm Chance. From, From Omaha, Omaha, Nebraska. We currently have a single out now called Ends Meet. Available on all streaming platforms. Hey, did I make it? Did I make it in time? Am I ready? Am I good? Okay, okay. I'm trying to see if I can see these splatters. Dude, close your eyes for me. Uh, uh, <laughs> that went right I can feel the screams. I can feel the bed. Never the We'll never be the same. Classic presidents are joining the SBA family, and I am so excited. They rip. That song ends meet. The full video is premiering in like two minutes, just over there. Just go click and go check it out on the SPI channel. It's literally about to premiere right when I stop talking here. I'm just so excited about Classic Presidents. Their album that's coming out next year is going to be so good. Heavy. It's got like all types of ska core stuff, synths, bleeps and bloops, like, <sighs> Plaza Presidents are awesome, and I'm just, I'm just over the moon about all the stuff that's coming next year, including them. So yeah, it's about time to watch that full video from them. But, so now that you've learned about Plastic Presidents, I have something to show you real quick. Introducing the Skanks for Nothing SPI Sampler series. Check out this art done by the amazing Sophia Dupree. Yeah, so this will be a free sampler series that I'll start including in orders over 25 or more later this year. Got to wait on a couple more songs. I can't show you the back track list because there's a couple that I can't tell you about yet. But I can show you the cover. You can see who's on it and the incredible art again by Sophia Dupree. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited to kind of have like similar sampler type thing to the labels that I was inspired by growing up. And uh, I'm really proud of the art. Sophia did an incredible job. So I wanted to call that out. And since Plastic Presidents were on it, I couldn't show you until near the end. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're just as excited about 2023 as I am. And uh, I'll see you next time. Actually... One more thing before I get out of here. I, uh, it's a pretty big thing, just to be, just to be fair. Um, so one thing we didn't talk about is that earlier in the year, right before the last direct, Scott Dad, Jacob from Young Costello and I, we hosted a couple shows in Austin and San Antonio with, uh, Young Costello, Hans Gruber and the Die Hards, Flying Raccoon Suit, uh, Los Corrados. Flip the Combined Effort, uh, the big news from OKC played. I know I'm forgetting a couple, and I'm so sorry to those bands that I'm forgetting. And then in San Antonio, Los Cagoleros also played. Holy Schneikies played. Incredible weekend, super fun, great turnout. So we've been talking about what we could do. Maybe we should do it again, maybe we shouldn't. Off and on since then, and you know, I think it's about time that we um, make it official what we're going to do. So, uh... Yeah, take a look at this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are just as excited about what's coming in 2023, including this. See you around.